Hey y'all, this is Jan Bork from Jan Bork. What are you doing? And today this video is gonna be very quick. I'm actually gonna show you how to take strings out of a sweet potato. I'm not gonna give you a sweet potato recipe because everybody does sweet potato recipes different. If you do want my recipe, I'll be more than happy to share it with you. But for the time being, I'm just gonna show you how to take the strings out of sweet potatoes. Um, this is Thanksgiving Eve, so I gotta get through cooking, but this is gonna be very simple and very quick. So, um, hope you all enjoy. See you soon. Let's get started. Hey y'all, what I have here are four large sweet potatoes. Only three of them are going into my sweet potato pie. And the fourth one that I have is going to be fed to Amelia. Um, and Jessica too, if she wants some. Or Abby, whoever. But anyway, I'm using one of them for lunchtime. But anyway, I have three large sweet potatoes. They're, they are huge. They're probably jumbo size, y'all. This is about the size of... Mm, I'll say two sweet potatoes. So you may need a total of six for your own pie if you're planning on baking them. If you cooking out that can, baby, I can't help you, okay? I don't know how many cans you need. That's not my um, area of expertise, but that's not here nor there. But y'all look at, hold on, I'm trying to have this name of this mayonnaise so they don't think I'm trying to advertise or do anything for clout because I'm not. <laughs> but anyway, this is how big it is, y'all. It's about the size. Hold on, let me just do this. I've been making cheesecakes too. So, hold on. Well, I made a cheesecake. But y'all look. Let's see how big this baby is. Can you see it? Baby, can you see? Lord, can I get a third on? Baby, can you see how big it is? Yes, it is. Okay, so I rinsed them off. I didn't put oil on them. I did not put salt on them. What's going to happen is as you bake them, they're going to get soft. The sugars, the natural sugars in them are going to extract and it gives it a more, um, it, it tastes better basically. And once it's done, I'm going to take my knife and I pierce through it. That's how you know. And I did not poke all the way through. I ain't doing none of that. You just let, let it do its thing, y'all. Don't be trying to do no extra stuff. Oh, I'm going to pierce it with a knife. I'm going to take a fork and stick it all through it. You don't need to do all that. You're doing too much. I'm not going to oil them up. You're doing too much. Okay. Just don't. Just put just rinse them off that's what you need to do make sure you wash your hands first rinse them off put them on a pan put them in the oven on 400 degrees for an hour to an hour and a half all right i'll be back back so my potatoes have cooked for an hour and a half as you can see look at them you see the sugar that has drained off of it and if you stick a knife in it like, those are the sugars, the natural sugar I was telling you about. Look at that. Ooh, child. I know. Um, if you stick a knife in it, look how it just, it's, it's smooth, baby. It's smooth like butter. I'm just showing you this so you can see how it looks. Once I let it cool off, you can just peel this off, but I'll be back for that part. I'm going to let them cool off about an hour to an hour and a half. But, you see that? Look at that. Oh, Jen, I know, child. I be trying to school you. Yeah. I just want to help you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look at my nails. Y'all see my nails? They clean. Don't be eating everybody food that don't have no clean nails. I need to cut them. That's not here nor there. But, um, I be looking at folks' fingers when I be trying to prepare for their food. But anyway, this is your sweet potato. Oh, oh. Got a little skin in that piece. Okay, but anyway, I'm gonna let it cool down, and then once it cools, we're gonna put it in the um, what you call it, sweet baby, the mixer. But that's it, hot and fresh. I'll be back. All right, so what you would need to get started are sweet potatoes. Out of this four, I'm only using three because my girl's gonna eat one. Um, water, which. Typically, I use the sink, but I'm not going back and forth to the kitchen sink, so I'll show you how to do it um, using a bowl of water. And of course, your mixer. Make sure you use the one that has the whisk on it, because what's gonna happen is your, your, your what you call it, like, the strings are gonna connect to the whisk, and you're just gonna swoop, 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 it in oil like that. Okay, so now that my sweet potatoes have baked, I'm not going to add any ingredients. I'm just solely um, getting, and they cooled out. They bake and they have cooled down. <clears throat> I'm just solely 
You see how that look? Look, y'all. I'm just slowly getting the strings out the sweet potatoes. You will not get all of them, which is understood, but you will get most. Okay? And again, don't nobody want no strings in no sweet potatoes. This had to be skin on it, so I had to make sure I got that off. And y'all, it is so, it ain't very, very sticky, but you can tell the natural sugars have come out the sweet potatoes, which makes it taste even better, especially when you start adding your seasonings to it, um, such as cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla, you know. And look, and this is how I typically do it. Just peel that baby on off. But because I cut the other one in advance to show you how it looks, um, it was too hot to pick up. So this is my method. That's a million in the background, y'all. Just peel that baby up, and it's still hot. I don't know if you can see the steam, but it still got steam coming. Y'all see it? Still got steam coming from it. Baby, when you be in that kitchen um, cooking and stuff, heat don't mean nothing, child. He don't mean a thing. Alright, so I'm just peeling these little thin pieces off of the potato skin. You see them, look at them strings. Just getting it all out. And yes, sweet potatoes in the can. Uh, yams, whatever y'all want to call them. They do have strings in them. So, But the one in Virginia and the one in um, Jacksonville had them big. All right, so, and let me tell you, when you get these little burnt spots, like, baby, that's sugar. You hear me? It ain't burnt. <laughs> baby, that's sugar. All right, so that's the sweet potato, y'all. I'm gonna put this sap sucker in here like this. All right, I'll be back with a closer view on me mixing it, so stay tuned. All right, y'all, so now I'm back. I had to go wash my hands. I don't like having stuff all over my fingers. But anyway, so now we're going to go ahead and get these strings out. That's a million in the background. Girl, find you something to do. Okay, that's me in the background, y'all. Um, just bear with me for a minute. So now we're going to mix it. We're going to start off slow. You can see the steam coming off of it. And then we're gonna pump our heat up. I mean, our speed up as we go. Let me tell you this real quick. What I like to do is let my lever down real slow. And if you don't have a KitchenAid and you have one of those hands mixing, just lift your waist out of it real slow, right? Why is on? That's what I like to do. So you're about to see my technique. Um, I like to let it down real slow. And as I let it down slowly, I end up starting to, it'll let, it'll throw off the sweet potato and it'll leave the strings. So I'm going to show you. All right. Push this down real quick. So now it's all down, and guess what? We got some strings, y'all. We got some strings. Just tap it a little bit if you have to. That's all right. We got two. Look at that. We got some strings. So now we're going to take it to the water, which, again, you can just go to your sink. But because I'm not at my sink, um, I'm just going to do it right here. Hold on. This is what I need back. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna shake it like this, and then boom. You may have a few strings in, but just like that. You got them strings off. All right, and then we're gonna repeat to make sure you get them strings off, but let's go. Also, I'll be fast going through this whole process. So you can see, you'll be seeing me mix and dip, mix and dip, but just know that it ain't going as fast as it looks. Um, it takes time and you just have to be. Alright y'all, so <clears throat> as you can see, we still got strings. We're going to try to get as many out as we can. If you do not get all your strings out, <clears throat> it's cool. You didn't got the vast majority out, so we're going to get these out like we've been doing. And let me just show y'all this real quick. You might, what's the big deal with strings? These little strings be real tough, y'all. Like, I finna just mix it in this water. Hold on. I'm just mix, stir this up in this water, right? You watch it. Look at all these strings I done pulled out. Hey, I don't even know if y'all can see this for real. Can y'all see that? And this water is full of them. So I'm gonna have to change my water out in a second. But look, oh man, look at this. It's an even better fish. You guys see this? These are the streams that you be referring to that be in your pot. And people be like, oh man. You know, you see people bite a piece and then they go pull some out their mouth. It'd be one of these streams. So try your best to get these out the best you can. Um, it may you may be able to do it within five to seven whiffs. It may take you longer, but um, do you want your pie extra stringy, mild stringy, light stringy, or no stringy? It's solely up to you. All right. So once you have gotten your strings out to your liking, um, make sure your sweet potato is smooth. Can you see it? Trying to see if you can get a good picture. Make sure it's really smooth. If I spread it against here, I don't know if y'all can see this. If I spread it against here, you all won't see any strings. Mix it in real good, trying to pull it out. But I'm gonna waste a few more times to my liking. But um, you do it to your liking and you get them strings out of there, baby. And I don't care how good it tastes, don't nobody wanna feel like they pulled a piece of hair at their mouth, okay? So to avoid that hairy effect, you just gonna take a little extra time to do a little extra whisking, all right? Whether it's by hand, by machine, or I don't know what other method you can do it, but um, I hope this video helped out some people. <clears throat> if not, <laughs> okay. But meanwhile, you all, I gotta tend to these kids and I gotta get through cooking. So be blessed, don't stress, and always remember, let God handle the rest. Love you.